Hi there, everyone. An equipment failure at the Bell County Jail has left that facility without any running water. The sheriff's office says five people have now been tasked with constantly bringing water bottles to the actual facility. Portable toilets are also being brought in. Meanwhile, the city of Clean opening a water filling station for folks without water there. It's at 805 West Jasper Drive. That will be there until 6 p.m. This weekend, it'll run from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. You must bring your own container and boil the water for two minutes before consuming it. Another major problem across the state, empty store shelves, eggs, milk, bread, and water, all essentials, and all of them hard to find. Stores like HEB are struggling to keep up with demand. Also, like a lot of us, stores are dealing with power outages, water shortages, and a slower than normal supply chain. Icy roads are keeping a lot of products from being delivered. For many, it's brought flashbacks to the start of the pandemic. If you must come to the store, please bring your patients. Because just like we saw at the beginning of COVID, we don't want to have a big run on our stores when there's really not a lot of product. Only get what you need. Save some for your neighbors. That run on your stores, it's already happening in a lot of local spaces. Stores are also closing earlier to keep customers and employees off icy roads. That will probably end over the weekend. HEB says it can take up to a full week to catch up with demand. The Arctic blast had an impact on gas prices across the state and locally here in Central Texas. The statewide average is now sitting at 2.24 a gallon. That is four cents higher than last week, 15 cents higher than this time last year. However, the gas supply is tightening. AAA says the impact is looking to be similar to that of a hurricane until things thaw out and refineries are able to open fully back up early next week. Drivers should expect to see higher pump prices. Central Texas drivers will find the most expensive gas in Mill County. It's sitting about 238 a gallon out there from Leaded. The cheapest in Coriel County, that's about 215 a gallon. McLennan and Bell counties, they're averaging right around 221 a gallon. In Brazos County, the average is about 227 a gallon.